Hello guys, in this video we will see a problem on projections of solids. The question is about a cone. So draw the projection of a cone of diameter 40 mm and height 70 mm lying on the ground. So therefore it is on HP and the base of the, it's, it's on one point, okay. It's one point is on the HP and uh, when doing so, the base point such that it makes an angle with 40 degrees. Therefore, the base is making a 40 degrees angle with the HP and perpendicular to VP. When it is perpendicular to VP, automatically when you are looking in the front view, perpendicular means you will look it like a straight line. Whereas coming to 40 degrees to HP, what will be happening? 40 degrees to HP will be visible to you in your front view, that is in your VP, it will be visible to you. Okay, let us go to the AutoCAD and draw this. So first we will do select it, we will use it. limits in 0, 0 and 500, 500. After that units, we will check it, it is millimeters, okay. Then Z enter and after that press ortho, see that ortho is on. And then press line and draw some 200 mm line. 200 mm line. So this is our XY line. Suppose this is our XY line. After that, <coughs> uh, the cone is on. Let me suppose that the cone is on the, since it is on the ground now, so it is on HP, 40 mm and 70 mm. So, so let me come to the AutoCAD and draw a circle because cone, the base point will be like a circle. So I'll select somewhere like this with the 20 mm radius. I'll draw Circuit. because it is 40 mm diameter I have drawn a 20 mm circuit. He did not give the position of this at any place in the question so I can keep it anywhere. So from here I will select a line I'll select a line and I will use some yellow color light yellow color I will be using for my projector lines like this and we can project the circle end points to the x y line. Since it is lying on the ground, so the problem starts from the ground itself, that is x, y line itself. So this is your first line, which is the base basically. And we have another point, which is called as, uh, this is not yellow color, this is um, why you go to the properties and change the color, because that is your original visible line. Okay, x, y line, we have given something, no? so I'll do one thing. I will give, uh, whatever the lines are there, I will give separate color like this, you can visible. The red color things are visible to us. So now, there is another point which is visible. So one thing we will do, we will change the P type and select this one and press OK. And select P O enter and this point is also visible to you. This particular point is visible to you because this is the end point of the cone, that is the apex point of the cone, which is visible to us. So now, along this line, we will be having an axis. So select a line and draw a line like this, up to some line, or else do one thing, up to this point only you draw. After that, from this point, the height of or the, uh, what is the height of the cone is given as 70 mm. Therefore, select a line command. And only the yellow color only is to be used here because this is a projection only. This is 70 mm and finish. Once this is finished, the projection of the point O is finished. Now select a line command, use red color and join this line as well as join this line. Only these three red color lines which are visible to you are uh, which are drawn here are visible to us remaining are not visible. So this is the first basic thing which has given in the question. Lying on the ground and uh, uh, now we will check the question that the base point such that it makes an angle of 40 degrees to HP. 40 degrees to HP. So what we will do is that whatever this base point is there, base one should be 40 degrees to tilted to HP which will be visible to us in the VP. So let me let me select first uh, whatever is there, whatever I have drawn here, I will select all these things. I will copy it and move it from this place to this place like this. Now escape. Then you rotate this, you select all this and you rotate it 
at this point with how much angle angle is given in the question as how much 40 degrees so rotate it with 40 degrees like this. if you are having any doubt you check in the first hand itself go to the annotated go to the angular dimension check the angle between this and this it is 40 degrees perfectly there so whatever we are doing is absolutely right whatever we are doing is absolutely right so this is good now we have to project it downwards and we have to project from this so that the bottom portion is obtained but this will interact here so i'll do one thing i'll select all this and move a little side so that it will be a little away from it therefore no problem with this is then i'll project the lines by using this yellow color only i'm using light yellow color for all my projector lines so this is my first projector line this is my second projector line end points no? so those end points projector lines also i can draw projector lines for the this thing only these things are there now even from the bot, uh, top portion also we can draw the projector lines like this from this point from this point and from this point we can draw these projector lines like this now you can select the line command and use uh, or we can select the point beforehand we can select the pivo enter this is the apex point the projection and this is the apex point projection therefore here we will be having the apex point projection so this is here O point new O point is here similarly the end points are all obtained here these points so that means from here to here to here to here we should have the uh, what is that uh, the circle should be there here so simply speaking if I draw a straight line from here up to this point and a line from uh, this to this point this point to this point and a line from this point to this point and a line from this point to this point and now I should fit the circle I should fit the circle between these four points fit the circle between these four points for that you can use different set of options like instead of not dividing it into any number of equal parts I, I can divide this into equal number of parts so one thing I will do first I can trim these all things so which are not necessary for me I will trim these things now what I can do is that I can select array command I can select array command and I can select that array command and select this straight line okay no, straight line is not there here so first draw a straight line from here to here and now select this straight line and what i can do is that i can array polar array with this as my center point and items as 12 items in this way i'll get it close text area. now i can have further more projector lines here like this also at these points are obtained no? these things also obtained here you can do it in the same way i can have projector lines here also you can give the names for all these things so here also i can get the names now once these are all obtained i can even bring these points here no? so simply what i can do i can use pivo enter this point and remaining other points also at this point this point why i kept all these in yellow because these are all the projector points only i am not uh, thing i am not doing anything so i can select all these things and i can uh, copy paste them that is c c o enter and copy paste it here you can copy paste, sorry base point i have to select no so first select all these things copy and with this as base point to up to this as base point, I have selected it. Now, whatever is there obtained here, all these things will be selected and rotated with uh, how much? 40 degrees. So on this line, you obtained all. Now, along these lines, you draw straight lines to the bottom. That is line command from here to here, from here to here, 
from here to here from here to here as well as from here to here we can draw the straight lines similarly we can draw the straight lines from here to here like this from here to here also you can draw the straight lines from here to here you can draw the straight lines so basically what we are doing we are trying to bring them back now what are these corner point lines are drawn in the beginning those are all visible to us therefore i will keep them as like this that is a red color lines and now between this i have to draw the circle so circle means where it will start use poly, uh, first let me finish the pivo enter this is your first point of interaction and this is your second point of interaction this is your third point this is your fourth point if you want you can check it you'll get like this i'm i'm giving because i have uh, practiced it earlier so i'm giving it easy for you so these are all the points of interaction intersections see that you are not intersecting the red color line with the yellow color line only yellow color line and intersections should be there selected okay see here this is not intersected perfectly so i'm again selecting it and i'm drawing it so in that way you can do if these are becoming very big what we can do we can select the p type and press enter and instead of 5 we can press 4 and press enter so all they are reduced into some size now use you now use your uh, this uh, polyline command and select all these points select all these points and draw a curve and draw a curve along these points obtained which will be uh, obtained to you uh, as a ellipse it will be coming to you because it's uh, because of its this uh, tilted no here that is the reason why we will get ellipse so we can select this and give a pe command that is poly edit command pe command and press enter and fit we can press so that it will be fitted that is visible to us so i'll press that one also keep it in red color plan so this is how you get it uh, some mistake is done i think this line is not here this line is not here midpoints to midpoints it should be joined so this is the point and midpoint is here similarly this is the point and midpoint is here now this one and this one also will be given red color as finished now what this is how the look will be there so we select all this and all this points we can give some line weight to it i'm giving some 40 line weight and for it to be displayed line weight display will be on like this so this is how it will be done. so this is the tilted diagram now even now the problem is not yet finished what is the information should be given diameter should be given therefore annotations in this in the diameter select the circle and give the diameter here and we know the height of the ring that is this line so select the dimension and for this you give the height this side with this the diagram is finished remaining all information whichever there is a question is all shown to you here so therefore the diagram is finished so this is the way how you finish the projections of the cone when it is uh, base is uh, on the HP and uh, tilted with 40 degrees to 